Long day lay me low. Hello everybody, Jason Bascom here from Unhinged Entertainment. Before we get started, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. I uh, need you to help grow the channel, please. Uh, we want subscribers here. They help, uh, you know, help out with the uh, eyes on the books and the art and also other campaigns as well. We can help out other creators. Uh, before we get, also get started uh, with what we're doing today, as you saw in the thumbnail, you know, but my arm is in a sling. Uh, I had rotator cuff surgery. I uh, had it repaired because I tore it in January at work. Uh, so uh, my arm will be in it's my drawing arm so I won't be doing any drawing videos uh, whether they be shorts or uh, you know the, the videos you've seen in love uh, so but what we're gonna do is gonna talk some comics we talk about comics things I recently picked up or have had throughout the years and uh, uh, stuff that has inspired me or it's just stuff that I found cool or or like this this one today kind of um an accidental purchase uh, so it's in the thumbnail you know what it is so i mean i'm kind of burying the lead but not um but yeah so this is um this is x-men number 130 this is the first appearance of dazzler um and i say it's an accidental purchase because i originally wanted another book which uh the owner had they have it but he took it with him somewhere i don't know if he took it to a con or something but uh and maybe he sold it uh, but they he said he's not here so um so I was like, well, what else do you got? And he told me about another book. I'm like, that's a little out of my price range. And so at the, at that moment, uh, which is pretty expensive anyway. And he's like, and what else you got? He's like, well, I got the first appearance of Dazzler. I'm like, oh, I'll take the first appearance of Dazzler. Why not? Uh, and I, I, I finagled a little. We finagled a little. But um, uh, we're friends, so at the shop. But I got it for a good price. And uh, it's in great condition. But uh, yeah, so people are like, well, why Dazzler, Jason? She's not the best character ever. Because... There's a misconception about her, I think. Uh, she's actually, like, most people are like, oh, all she does is sing and she can um, shoot lights out of her fingertips. Yay! It's like, well, no, she can do more. She absorbs uh, sound and she converts that into light. So now you're like, well, did you just, I just said that. Like, well, no. The thing is, like, she she absorbs the sound. She even absorbs, she can absorb Black Bolt's voice, which if you know comics or if you don't, uh, Black Bolt, even his whisper can, like, disintegrate you. It can, it, so he's he can push, he can punch a hole through the planet if he has, like, a, I think he uses a, a device Reed Richards has, but he can, he can eviscerate people and things and countries. So uh, she can absorb that. She can absorb, I, I read she can absorb, um, she absorbed the black hole, the sound of a black hole once, I think. The, uh, or she went through a black hole because she absorbed the sound from a exploding galaxy or something. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Uh, but she can turn that into uh, energy, light, uh, like pretty much like almost a full-on laser. Uh, so she can produce laser blasts. Uh, or she can convert it into holograms. Like she can manipulate light. Um, now, she, she can't absorb sound produced by herself it has to be an outside source so uh there's a band playing obviously with her when she's singing so that'll she can absorb that sound and she does pop music now imagine if she did metal uh, the double bass alone i mean forget about it uh so yeah but, but you know fun character and in this book uh they, they, this is her first appearance uh, the x-men uh, cerebro has detected a mutant in the area a, a new mutant and the X-Men go to get her, and uh, I guess the other X-Men were captured by the Hellfire Club, and the Hellfire Club come to fight uh, Jean and Scott, uh, who were looking for, and Nightcrawler, who were looking for Dazzler, and she's on stage, and she joins in on the fight and kind of surprises herself in the, in the process about the power sets, uh, about her level of power. So, and then they go on and rescue the other X-Men after they defeat the uh, Hellfire uh, Club soldiers. So, uh, yeah, John Byrne. Chris Claremont, can't go wrong there. Uh, so, yeah, this is a recent purchase. Uh, a plan is to, to grade and flip these, but, um, you know, I might keep some of these. I might keep some of these. I haven't, they're, I couldn't afford these as a child, as a, as a wee lad. Uh, but now I can get, like, one a month, maybe. So, or maybe one every other month, depending on the price. So, so yeah, so I, it's not like I'm spoiling, I'm spoiling my, it's a little treat for Jason. So, yeah, so, and, uh, you know, I can't, I, can't, I even tried, uh, I re-back and boarded this, and even that was a chore. And you would think, oh, it's not, well, anyway. But let's not get into that. I, I am doing okay. Um, sleeping is a little bit of a pain. But aside from that, uh, the pain levels 
aren't as high as what they were on Wednesday, and that's when I had my surgery. So uh, we still will be doing uh, doing, doing, doing these videos, Angela Curry and I. We have uh, Get to Know Your, your Creator, and uh, we will still be doing those uh, periodically on, you know, on Sundays. We, I don't know if we'll do it every Sunday, depending on if we have a guest or not. So, And Topicless is every Tuesday, always has been, always will be, 9.15 p.m. Death Metal Hero and I, go sub to him as well. Uh, and uh, we alternate channels, but with the... Uh, uh, you could you could share the stream out on your channel so anyway i've rambled i've rambled on look what i did i thank you for watching i really do and of course line art is done on frog g so my part on that is 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 finito like that's i had to finish it before the surgery that way i wasn't letting ink spots wait so uh and now i'm actually gonna wait on uh, uh ink spots a little bit he's got to finish coloring he's gonna finish the supplemental and then i gotta ink the supplemental so and then we write and, and letter it which it's not really a lot. We don't have that much more to go. So things are looking great. So go back, Frog G, currently in demand. An Indiegogo link will be in the description below. So I thank you once again for watching. I hope you like the videos I'm going to be putting out. Uh, I got to create content. I got to keep uh, keep the channel alive. So uh, I don't I don't want I don't want you people to be like, what happened to Jason? He's gone. Uh, I love you. You love me. We know it. Don't lie to yourself. Uh, so go check out Frog G and uh, have a great one. We've all read the story. The brave hero conquers the diabolical villain and rescues the damsel in distress. But this is real life, and in real life, stories don't always have happy endings. Frog G, the story of a man turned into a frog by a voodoo priestess sent on a mission to kill a god by death itself. Now our hero is the only underworld to regain his humanity. And when that the woman loves. <laughs>